Kirk shivered. McCoy was speaking with Mr. Spock's voice. <laughs> Show. That was the opening for the Spud Goodman show that audiences saw in one form or another for several years. The show began here in Tacoma and worked its way all the way up to a nationally syndicated Fox deal for the last two and a half years of its run. As someone who has played a variety of characters on the Spud Goodman show over the years, it is my privilege as well as my pleasure to have Mr. Spud Goodman in the TCI studios with me today. Spud, I've got to ask you here. I've got this paperwork that your people sent, my people, mm -hmm. categorizes your show mm -hmm. as a spoof on talk shows. Mm -hmm. And as someone who considers myself to be very familiar with your show, I've mm -hmm. never really been able to figure out what genre it fits into. Would you say that description's accurate? I've heard worse. You know, I plead guilty, all right? Let's go with that. Let's go with that. All righty. How did the uh, concept for the whole Spud Goodman show originate? Excuse me, who are you, by the way? Who am I? Yeah. I'm I'm John Sparling. This is uh, John Sparling. TCI TV yeah. Tacoma around yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. Super. Um, well, you know John, and it is John, correct? It's John. Um, yeah. The show is not so much dealing or coming from a concept or wasn't put together with that respect. It was, it's just more a window on my life. Okay. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Have you ever seen my show? Well, like I was saying, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I I've. I've I, I really hate doing these kind of this. interviews where you go in, nobody's ever seen the show or, you know, read the book or whatever. You know how that works. I've been in the shoes of an interview. I do my homework. But one I, of the first times I was on your show, I played Jonathan Parker, kind of this flamboyant mm -hmm. hairdresser, mm -hmm. image consultant, so forth. Do you have any recollection of this at all? No, I've never, s although, wait a second. Wait, no. Y you didn't happen to used to be my apartment manager like about <sighs> Oh, God, 15 years ago, you had like a, a mohawk and a lime green Oh, I've cut kind of short. I've been a character actor. I've played a variety of characters on your show over the years. I've got a clip. Maybe that'll help refresh your memory. All right, won't you please greet our first guest. It is Mr. Jonathan Parker of Jonathan Parker's Image Renovation of Los Angeles. Jonathan, may I call you Jonathan? Yes, you may. It's my okay. pleasure, Spud. To Super. Meet you. Jonathan. Cheese nips? Uh, no, thanks. That doesn't fit into my Did overall... Fit a no, Diet Coke? Uh, no, that's just fine. It doesn't okay. fit into my overall fitness plan. Okay, super. Um, Jonathan, you're reported to be like a highly respected makeover artist. You that's run true. seminars all over the yeah. country, and you work with many of Hollywood's most glamorous leading ladies. Um, how'd you get into this field, anyway? Well, Spud, it happened all really by accident. I was working for the film company while I was going to uh, Cal Riverside. I was the only male in my unit, and there were 11 females of various shapes and sizes and uh, but to be quite honest with you uh, most of these women were beyond help but uh, there were a few that seemed to have a great deal of beauty but no way to uh, properly package and market this concept to make themselves look a little more beautiful so to present themselves to, present them, to yes. the world yeah, yes that's what Would I'm getting like to a mask? No, no, See, no, I'm what was it like a fifth generation dub uh, that your grandmother taped whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean that looks like like, well, you know what it looks like. Well, we're talking the 80s here. We're talking, that was, that was like my first VCR that I, I bought with my own money. I mean, I taped and that. And I don't I, see the resemblance. Tape. I, I do not even off. see the resemblance. Now, John, I know you're not John Curley, thank God, but who, who are you? But it's 1999. That was the mid-80s. I've changed a little bit. How long Better was cologne, I hope. How long did the Spud Goodman show run? How many years was it on the air? We started in like... February of 1985 in Tacoma on a lovely little channel called C10. I worked with Don Doman actually in Tacoma and we stayed there until the station went off the air, you know, and then we went up to Seattle to public access for about a year mm -hmm. and we got picked up on the commercial side of TCI by the, uh, through the kindness of Lonnie Edenholm, stayed there for a couple years till that channel went off the air, went to Prime Sports Northwest, which is now Fox Sports Northwest, did that for a year, went to KTZZ for about two and a half years. I had a blast there, uh, or three years actually. Then we went, got picked up by Fox. I said, blah blah blah. I did about two and a half years there, and that takes me to right now. Is that okay? That's fine. But it's a fast forward Reader's Digest version. I, I just still can't even believe that you don't remember me being on your show. Never seen you before in my life. I, I played Mr. I think his name was Ross Harrington, a, a fashion consultant from New York, and you had some sort of dog, from what I remember on the show. I think you had a, you got him from the Humane Society. Maybe you did a pet of the week segment. I don't know. Do you have any recollection of this? I don't know what you're talking about. 
you know, you're really lucky. We're I've lucky. done more I'm, than a few shows in 13 years. You've got to realize this. I, I mean, I can back it up. I've got a clip. Let's take a look. Well, all right, we're here with our last guest of the evening. It is Mr. Ross Harrington of the Ron Peters Fashion Consulting Firm of New York City. Ross, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here today, Spud. Super. On your right is Mr. Chick Hunter, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Chick. Okay, Ross, what brings you uh, to Tacoma? I mean, I know why you're here, but why don't you share with your, our well, viewers? Well, I, I was involved with some meetings today up in uh, Seattle uh, with... Uh, it's my dog, Spam. <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> Say hi, Spam. Recent he, addition to the family. He won't get anything on my... No. Well, here, Willie. She's well, totally harmless. All right, but uh, as I was saying, I was up in Seattle with uh, um, some buyers from some of the, the big stores up there today, the bigger stores, and showing them some of my samples of some of the work from our agency. That clip's going to make me lose my lunch. I mean, can, can you show a worse, more grainy, deteriorated dub of my program? It looks like circa 1919 Birth of a Nation stuff. Spud, the tape is over 10 years old. At least you remember me now, right? No, I don't, by the way. Spud, your show over the years has become more and more confusing. You've got segments that run into each other. They overlap each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. became very evident to me in my final appearance on your show in 1992, where I played a human liposucker. Any way the client wants it. So you drill for fat anywhere the need is. Spud, we don't drill vacuum siphon pump like some of our competition does. Right. It's it's just a yeah. I don't we understand this one with I don't understand targeted this thing, but Tell you what, I don't understand this thing, and I don't really don't have any background I information. Get it. Uh, no, was, did you book this guy? No, you did. Did. Didn't you? Anyway, so you don't use a sump no. pump. What do you use? Can we get to the bottom line because I'm running out of time? Well, actually, what we do is we go to school. And this we're is highly besides trained. being it's boring. Sterile. This doesn't make any sense. Right. And this then we take the client and we suck like hell. You know, I sort of resent that snide little comment about my show being confusing. I, on the other hand, prefer to think of the Spud Goodman show as reflecting reality. You know, real well, life. I don't personally uh -huh. believe that Caroline in the City or Suddenly Susan reflects reality. I mean, you may. I've, yeah, in fact, I'm pretty sure you probably do. But Spud, let's, let's take this a different direction. What plans do you have for your future with your show? Well, I got plans. We're, we're trying to like play some of our old shows, like the best of kind of thing. Mm -hmm. oh, that scam, we're going to try to place it somewhere on the local airwaves. But for the most part, we're, we're thinking about doing this internet thing when the bandwidth situation gets settled. We got plans, oh. big plans, things that would probably be way over your head. Very interesting. I still just can't believe that you don't remember who I am. Well, you know, the, the rouge on the cheeks, remind, it, it brings back some faint memories, but for the most part, no. I don't think I've Ladies really and gentlemen, mentioned. Spud Goodman.